Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Shadow, and today I'll be teaching you about the Soul Steel weapons from the Spirited Mod and the Better Minecraft Mod Pack. I'll be showing you how to craft everything needed to obtain these absurdly powerful weapons. Here's a few things that the Soul weapons are capable of. Thing from applying poison on hit when your crystal is full of bee souls to explosions on impact from creeper souls. And the first step in this whole process is obtaining some soul sand and a lot of willstone, then grabbing a bit of extra iron. You will also need to obtain some deep slate and a bit of amethyst shards and glass to make yourself some tinted glass. Now if you have all that we can get started. First we'll need to lay down some soul sand and set on fire with your flint and steel. Now you take your glowstone, preferably about a stack, and throw it all in. Now this doesn't need to be glow powder or glow dust. It could be in its full block form to make the process go by a little faster. Now you could take your soul sand and put four blocks of quartz around it and toss in a glow dust. And this will get your first soul crystal shard. This will hold crude souls in it, but they won't have effects. For that, you'll need to upgrade it to at least the second stage. You'll want to take another soul sand and light it on fire, and this time toss in a few deep slate. You only need four, but you can always get a few extra. Now you take this soul deep slate and surround the fire, then toss in your soul crystal shard to get a crude soul crystal shard. Now this can be upgraded one more time. This one's a little different. You light your soul sand and then place four blocks of lapis around it. Then you take your tinted glass, toss that in. This will give you your soul glass. You'll then surrounding the fire with the soul glass and tossing in your crude soul crystal to get your fully upgraded soul crystal. Okay, now that you've made your soul crystal, let's move on to crafting your weapons. You'll need to take a bunch of soul sand. Now combine some soul powder into soul powder blocks. Then start a few soul sand flames and surround it with the blocks. And toss in some iron ingots to get soul steel ingots. Now you can start crafting your weapons. They're crafted almost the same as normal, except with netherrack instead of sticks and soul steel instead of the various materials. I like to keep a bow on me and a sword. Now if you made it this far, we're almost there. Now you need to go and collect a few souls to be able to use the abilities on your weapons. You'll need to carry a soul crystal in your inventory and start by killing a mob, whichever one you want stored in the crystal. And the first one you kill will be linked to the crystal and Every mob after that will add more souls. You can increase this even further by using a soul steel sword to double the amount of souls you get. I like to keep a soul crystal with a bunch of creeper souls inside to have explosive bow rounds. These are extremely helpful in combat when you're getting surrounded by tons of enemies. You just fire a few rounds in the center and you can clear out hordes of enemies in no time at all. Now you should have everything you need to craft your very first soul crystal and soul steel weapons. Now go try out the spirited mod and soul steel weapons for yourself and come back and tell me what you think in the comments down below. Now if this video was helpful, like and subscribe and leave a comment down below on how I can improve in the future. See you next time.